Hello, hopefully this finds you doing well. I'd just like to put in my two cents, give you some opinions on the uh, Costi, Costa Concordia cruise ship that was uh, basically beached into a rock. If you look at the pictures, you can see obviously the, the land, the rock comes down uh, under the water and it comes at a certain angle and, and anybody with boating experience should, should know that that was no place to be. Uh, piloting a ship so <laughs> definitely operator error on that and and the thing I want to point out here is I've been following this for a few days here since it happened off and on and they keep changing their story and it's been coming out now that uh, the captain is is finally admitting that he was doing uh, his words were in Italian I guess they were uh, he was doing some touristic maneuvers. He was showboating. He was showing off to the crowd on the land, and he hit that, and there was 4,000 people aboard that ship, the population of my hometown, and he lied to those people, his crew members and those people, saying everything was okay and that they just lost a generator, so, so just remain calm and sit tight. And then finally some of the passengers, I guess, started to evacuate the boat on their own. So... Uh, thankfully most everyone made it there were uh, a half a dozen or so casualties I guess at this point and a few people still missing but uh, hopefully they hopefully they find them those people and hope we pray for them and and so the, the thing that I wanted to point out here is that it kind of mirrors the shadow government that we have going on uh, you know the captain all he would have had to say is you know, we've we've hit a rock and we need to evacuate the boat calmly and immediately. And they had plenty of time to do that instead of lying to them for like I guess three or four hours is the different reports I've been hearing. Uh, I don't know. It might have even been longer than that. I guess it was around midnight when he he abandoned ship, and the coast guard told him to get back on the ship and help the passengers off, and he gave him some excuse I guess. Um, and the similarities between that and the shadow government is sometimes people just cannot admit when they're making mistakes like uh, war more and more and more war 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 you know and the world is tired of it and I would just like you to uh, look into some of this stuff and click around on the links there's definitely a lot of things going on in the world right now the president of the United States committed an act of treason on December 31st 2000 and 11, uh, he signed in the NDAA bill, <coughs> the National Defense Authorization Act, and and just look into it. It, it contradicts the Constitution. It, it says that w they can strip American citizenship, uh, Americans of their citizenship, and detain them indefinitely. So, I encourage you to definitely look at this. There's world leaders right now that are in a getting backed into a corner because they don't know how to control all of it. And the thing is, is they don't have to. They just need to back off a little bit and let the free market take over again, like it was going here in this country here about 100 years, 150 years ago, when things were going a lot better. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. Please rate, comment, and click around on my channel and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.